Okay, this is a tour of our Cabana Mini Suite 12415 on Sun Princess. So now you get to see what the Cabana Mini Suite looks like, kind of a lived-in look, because now we've got everything unpacked. You'll see how it works as a working room, not clean and neat like it would have been. Okay, first of all, we have two hooks here in the entry hall. I uh, currently have this princess bag, which they do give you. Uh, it's a tote bag, and I use it uh, for my computer in the morning. I take my computer to to do my blogging and video work. Uh, we have our backpack hanging here. Here's the bathroom on the left in this stateroom. Uh, we'll go through the bathroom here in a little bit. Let me turn around and go the other direction, show you what's over here. Now, the lighting is a little interesting. It's kind of dark back here, so it's maybe hard to see. There's kind of a floor to ceiling closet. This is where they put the life vests. And there's a shelf here with the life vests, but there's this empty space down below. And that would be perfect for some more hanging clothes. They just don't, they didn't put a hanging rod in here. I've just got my backpack sitting on the floor. So I think that could have been used a little more efficiently. Maybe even some more shelves or drawers. And then moving on toward the room, we've got this one large door here, one large cabinet. Uh, there's two large shelves. One of them has a safe, and the safe's pretty small, but it will hold an iPad, cell phone, money, wallets, things like that. We have some shopping bags that we're storing up here right now. Uh, then there's a couple of other shelves here. Uh, I've got some things that stay folded, pants, shorts, things like that. Ricky's got some additional cosmetic items here, more cosmetics here. You're not going to believe how many cosmetics she has. And then we've got three large dresser drawers as part of this closet area. And they are soft closed doors, drawers I should say. And then we come to the wardrobe section, which is two glass doors. Now there is a light here when you open the door. It lights up automatically. There's like an LED built into the hanging rod. And this is where we have all of our clothes hanging. On the left side, you've got room for your longer items. And then there are three shelves down here where we keep our shoes and a few other things. I'd say the hanging space is adequate. We're on here for 16 days. Some of our things had to stay folded up on shelves because didn't quite have enough room to hang them. We did have to get additional hangers. But Ricky brings a lot of clothes, so I don't know if that's normal or not. As I mentioned, on the other side here is the bathroom. We'll go over that last. This is the thermostat, which has been working pretty well. It's easy to figure out, I think. Some light switches. Now this is a motion sensor. And what that does is that turns on a night light in the bathroom. When you approach this, it turns on, let me turn the lights off. It turns on this night light down at the bottom. Okay, let's move more toward the bedroom. You do have in the hallway a full length mirror. Even though you pretty much have to back up to the wardrobe, so you can't, it's hard to get really the use out of this full length mirror. I think it might have been a better design to have put it on this wall right here because you have plenty of room to back up and see yourself in that full length mirror. Here, this hallway, entry hall, is very narrow. It's almost impossible for two people 
to get by each other. And if this door is open, let's say somebody's getting dressed and they open the bathroom door, you can see what's going to happen. It's going to hit that bathroom door. This is going to sound like I'm really nitpicking. In fact, this entire walkthrough is going to sound like I'm nitpicking. These doors feel a little flimsy, a little, I don't want to say cheap, but they, they don't feel very sturdy. So it'll be interesting to see how these hold up over time. Uh, the carpet is a neutral, kind of a tan, uh, brown and tan, very nice. I think it looks nice. I love the light colored woods they used. Here is the queen size bed. We have our beds pushed together to one single bed. Now the nightstands, you'll notice a uh, light went out down there. Maybe you didn't notice it, but if I walk toward this, sometimes it comes on there. You go, see that little night? That's another night light. There is a light on the bottom cubby of this nightstand. Very nice design, good idea. But we'll talk more about the night lights here in a minute. There is a drawer and another cubby on top. Uh, here we've got a water bottle, forgive me. Uh, you have two USB ports. One is a USB-C, one is a USB-A, and there's also a US-style 110 outlet, and then you've got all your light switches. Very good job on the USB ports. This is a little night light. Well, actually, it's not a night light. It's a reading lamp that goes off when you push it in. And then there are lamps over each nightstand. However, you can't turn these on or off individually. They both come on and they both come off with the same switch. Now that odd colored pillow is mine. I brought that from home. Sometimes I travel with my own pillow. And then from here you can see the living room. And we have a very large television. LED, high definition, good programming. We'll talk more about that later. You can see we've put a couple of magnetic hooks on this side and a couple on the other side. I get these magnetic hooks on Amazon. We'll hang our caps, our sunglasses. Sometimes we'll hang our jackets. You know, they're, they're very strong. And of course, all the walls are metal. So the magnetic hooks stick to them very easily. And then on this side of the bed, we've got another nightstand, identical to the one on the opposite side. USB-A, USB-C, and a US power port, and my meds. That's all I take. And then, so if you have CPAP machine, both of you or either of you have a CPAP machine, you're in good shape because you got power on both nightstands. Now I do want to point out one other thing over here on this side of the bed. This is only about 10 and a half inches between this wall and this bed. E Ricky is very thin and she has a hard time <laughs> navigating here to get into bed at night. A larger person is going to struggle to fit between this wall and the end of this or the edge of this bed. It's very narrow. Even between the end of this sofa and this is maybe 17, 18 inches. It's a little better. In the living room, now one thing I find interesting, they call this a mini suite, and I would have thought there would be a curtain to separate the living room from this bedroom, but there's not. It's open. Maybe because they have the cabana, you can see the curtain back there. That's where the cabana is. We'll show you that in a second. There is a very colorful piece of artwork here and a huge sofa. The sofa is big enough for easily for three people, maybe more. I don't know if this sofa makes into a bed. I don't think it does. It does not. It, doesn't appear, it does not appear to. We'll talk more about this sofa in a minute. Small coffee table. Not exactly sure how you're supposed to do room service in here. On the opposite side, we have the desk slash vanity. 
large mirror. It is lighted. I just don't have the lights turned on right now. The desk is a good size. There is a leather chair here we can pull out. There's a trash can underneath, a very large trash can. And there are two drawers in the desk. We just keep papers in here as they accumulate. They are soft clothes, but I have to, and I keep my camera gear over here, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. They feel a little rickety, I guess is the word. I don't know. They, they don't feel super high quality. So again, it's going to be interesting to see how these hold up over time. Now, we have a phone, and we have a U.S. power here, two U.S. power ports. This is my own little adapter here, because that's a European-style power outlet. Here we have a U.S.-style 110 and a USB-A and a USB. Actually, there's I think those are two USB-A ports. I'm going to plug that back in. This is my MacBook Pro adapter. You can see I use my computer here at the table. Plenty of room to work, no problem. Now if we come over here to the left side of the desk, this is not a flower provided by Princess. This was given to Ricky last night as part of the chef's table, but our stateroom attendant did bring us a, a glass to use as a vase, very nice. Uh, there are two shelves. They're decent size. Again, I store more camera gear and charging equipment up here. Down here we have two glasses, water glasses. They do not provide wine glasses or any other types of glasses. There's a large ice bucket filled with ice and the tongs. There's another drawer right here, and this is where they store the hair dryer. I've got some other batteries and things in here. And this drawer gets very warm because it's right on top of the mini fridge, which is down below. And the mini fridge is not stocked with any drinks. We have bottled water that we have picked up at the bar. Every time we go by a bar, we grab a couple of bottles of water and stick them in here. But the fridge does a pretty good job of keeping things cold which is nice. Okay, now let's take a look at the cabana. We're gonna open this curtains up. There is a sheer curtain and a blackout curtain, and I can tell you it, ke it keeps it really dark in here. They did a good job with the curtains. Okay, so now let's go out and take a look at the cabana and the balcony. First, we'll look at the cabana, because that is a room between the stateroom and the balcony. You got another large HD television here. There is no artwork on the walls here, just this kind of lattice work, I guess you call it. I'm not sure what it is. And then a little end table over here and this sofa, which could hold two people. Now, we have a piece of our large luggage here. This is where the stateroom attendant put our large bag because it wouldn't fit under the bed. It's too thick. And this room has the same decking as the balcony, as you can see. Normally, this entire wall is glass, and there's a door here, a hinged door. But the way they designed it, it has these other three pieces that fold together so that it gives you a, a full open space here. So it's almost like having a, a huge balcony with half of it indoors and half of it outdoors. Pretty clever the way they designed that. I think there's a missed opportunity here for Princess. Remember, we're reviewing this for the purpose of an adult couple, not for a family. And I think they had families in mind when they designed this. They thought maybe the kids could come out here and play. You could close the door to the stateroom and they would have a TV. Maybe they'd have their Game Boy or whatever and they'd be distracted while the parents are either on the balcony or in the stateroom. I think 
it would have been nice if they had had a table, a nice good sized table here, even one that could fold up and hide away under this little sofa so that you could have room service, so it would be a nice place to have a meal. Because there really is not a table large enough in this cabana mini suite to have room service. Now, if you go out to the balcony, it's a large balcony. We are on the sphere on deck 12. We're toward the front. We're not in the middle. In the middle, the balcony would be even deeper. But we still have a very nice, deep-sized balcony. Balcony furniture is pretty good quality and has the little footstools, which we like, and a small table where you could set a drink. I suppose you could have your coffee out here in the morning. But if you were going to have a meal, I think it'd be difficult to have a meal here. So that's the Cabana Mini Suite. Let's go in and take a look at the bathroom. Okay, now you'll notice there is a motion sensor here. So when I open the door, there is a night light down at the bottom. The problem is the night light goes out after about 10 seconds. So if you get up in the middle of the night to use the restroom, whether you're seated or whether you're standing, within eight or 10 seconds, that light's gonna go out. So just be aware that night light does not stay on very long. Now let's turn the lights on and take a closer look at the bathroom. Of course, we've been in this stateroom for five days. So we've got all of our stuff on the shelves. You can probably guess which shelf is mine. It's the top shelf, the one with the least stuff on it. Ricky has the other two shelves packed. There's only two there's only three shelves in the bathroom, plus some of the space on the vanity, and there's not much space. There is a outlet here for a razor. I tried to use one of our night lights here, but it doesn't seem to be working very well, so I don't know if it's the power outlet or what. Uh, they do provide body lotion. Uh, they also provide uh, liquid hand soap sink is quite small but functional and then down below uh, there is a glass shelf where you can store some things the toilet lid and seat are soft clothes which is nice a nice feature we have a towel rack we have a lighted mirror and then we come over here to the shower. Now there are two hooks on the back of the door. And we have a bathrobe that Ricky ordered. I think it was part of the premiere package. She got a bathrobe. I don't use a bathrobe. The shower is small, but it is a glass door, not a shower curtain. Thank you, Princess, for getting rid of the shower curtains. But still, the shower is pretty small but usable, functional. There's not a rain shower head, just this uh, combination shower head, shower wand. There's one shelf here where you can put your personal items. I've got my razor, some bar soap. I like bar soap and they do not provide bar soap. But they do provide shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then, of course, up here, you've got the clothes drying line that you can stretch across if you need to dry off a bathing suit or something. In our opinion, number one, how can they make this stateroom or this cabana suite better? What could have been done differently? A second shelf like this would have been nice to have because we barely have enough room for our stuff. And it's a small shelf. Put one more shelf underneath there, that would be helpful. In our opinion, this is not a bathroom befitting of something called a mini suite. Now you can see our light came on again underneath when I opened the door. I believe this is the same bathroom that the standard balcony cabin has. And to me, it's very small for what you call a mini suite.
knowing what we know now. I would have made the sofa two-thirds this size, just big enough to hold two people. That would give you an extra 24 inches in the stateroom. You'd be able to have more space between the bed and that wall. You could move everything over a little bit, and you could also add another 8 to 10 inches to the bathroom. Make it bigger. That'd be enough room to add more shelves over the vanity. Have a little bit bigger bathroom. More space between the end tables, or I'm sorry, between the edge of the bed and this wall, because that's a very, very tight fit. There is a nice, I forgot to mention, this padded headboard, kind of a leather feeling material. It may be leather, I'm not sure. That's nice and comfortable. The bed's comfortable. The bed's very comfortable. I went out to film a little bit more of the balcony, but my camera battery died on me. So fortunately, we were pretty much finished with the review. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next cruise report.